Jefferson was on the 666 Club recently, peddling another conspiracy theory about left-wing bias for in the media for his right-wing dry-as-dust religious followers. Creepy Uncle Pat was complaining about how the universities, the news media, and the entertainment industry are being infiltrated by homosexuals and are now using those positions to dominate society. We have given the ground to a small minority. You figure lesbians, 1% of the population, homosexuals, 2% of the population. That's all, that's statistically all. But they have dominated, dominated the media. They've dominated the cultural shift and they have infiltrated the major universities. It's just unbelievable what's being done. A tiny, tiny minority makes a huge difference. The majority, it's time it wakes up. Um, dude, you're late. And by the way, the TGLBQ community is 10% of the population, not the 2% you are wrongly quoted. In case you're wondering why ratings for Rachel Maddow, Don Lemon, and Anderson Cooper have been on the rise while yours and those at Fox Noise continue to fall, it's because you evangelicals lie so much. It's also interesting to note that the one somewhat trustworthy anchor they still have left at Fox Noise, Shepard Smith, who still at least tries to adhere to journalistic standards, also happens to be a survey says gay man. People trust these gay and lesbian anchors to tell them the truth more so than they do you, your morally bankrupt coochie grabbing POTUS, and your whole pathetic lot of evangelical pastors. And this transgender anchor for this show is an unapologetic truth teller as well. Pat, you, your right-wing pastors, and your movement have no credibility anymore, especially after backing a pedophile like Roy Moore for the U.S. Senate and a morally reprehensible orange tan philandering businessman for president. TBLGQ people have played a part in shaping our culture for centuries because frankly, we got it like that. Whether it's dance, movies, television, or the news media, we have always been part of it and will continue to be so for the foreseeable future. So Pat, please have several seats so you can think quietly on how you lost the so-called culture war y'all started a long time ago. <laughs>